Hey everyone, in this video we will be learning about .NET MAUI collection view using C# implementation. Here we will be using Community Toolkit Markup uh, plugin to for our uh, implementation. Uh, please don't forget to add that plugin before we get started. So here uh, we'll be having two items. You can arrange it with uh, image two over here using the grid and uh, you can redesign the UI as of your own using the CSAP implementation. So let's get started with the video. So here uh, we'll be adding the three plugins that is our .NET MAUI community toolkit markup and .NET MAUI core as well as uh, .NET MAUI. Uh, commit toolkit uh, so those three plugins this this and this from the browse section of your visual studio for uh, windows as well as mac so then uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to add uh, uh, these two uh, plugin implementation that is community toolkit markup as well as uh, community toolkit and don't forget to use those namespaces then uh, what we need to do is we need to now tell the our application to start a new c -SAP uh, ui that is a page so we'll be creating a new ui page uh, first of all we'll go to dotnet maui community uh, .NET maui and then we'll just create a content page c sap page give it a name as collection view sap ui you can give as uh, any any name as you like uh, it depends upon you what you want so here uh, collection view sap ui is the ui that gets started whenever the application start you can just put this uh, ui in our main page too it depends upon your use cases Let's get inside uh, to the UI that is our collection view SAP UI. So this is the basic SAP uh, collection view uh, SAP UI which has a collection view you can see. And uh, we have attached the uh, collection view with the list of strings and uh, which need to be uh, visible. The resulting output will look like this that is apple bot cat and dog so uh, that is uh, it for our collection view by basic collection view with the list of string items but uh, this uh, need to be reframed you know that we need to add some images we need to add some label text and we have to redesign the ui right so this is not the use case as of now so i'm just commenting this code and I have already pre uh, written some of the codes and I'll let you know uh, how it's done. So first of all, in order to create some uh, complex UIs uh, using the collection view, uh, what we need to do is like we should just create one model class okay so this model will have some name location or image path or anything okay as you like like how 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 you really design you want to design the list of items to be okay so that is step number one the step second is uh, observable collection of it can be a list of also okay don't forget if you are using observable collection don't for, uh, forget to add this name spaces and followed by this uh, markup because we'll be needing it later so uh, that is all uh, like uh, you can just uh, use the list or observable collection and uh, uh, add the model class model object with the data items so we have two datas this is one data this is second data we need to just display two datas if you want to display more data just put, uh, keep on adding using the commas okay so this is step number second then uh, what we are going to do is I have already written the code the, that is it so this is the only last thing that we need to do to implement a basic collection view with two or uh, two or three objects here we have uh, two object uh, two object with the properties okay so i'll just explain you what i'm doing it over here so here uh, we have same thing as like a collection view now what we have introduced is a property name as item source so there are as a u list so there are two items this is a first item this is the second item okay so what happens is like we are going to give the collection view with the item source okay and uh, then what we are going to do is we are going to tell the collection view item layout what it really needs to be as a grid item layout okay and if you have implemented some like uh, xml uh, implementation using the collection view then you can have uh, uh, you, you could have seen the span property how it's used how the vertical orientation works okay so we have grid item layouts as well as linear item layout so I'll just disable the code. So grid item layout orientation as vertical and you can just uh, play in, uh, with the values. And uh, as of now, till dot .NET, uh, uh, .NET, dot .NET 7, uh, we don't have more property inside the grid item layout. Okay, so in I think uh, dot .NET 8 or 9, I think uh, they, are, they are going to introduce more uh, properties like uh, uh, spacing between the grid item layout. So 
just like if you can add some spacing between the uh, each uh, row items okay so first row second row third row how how much space you want just the uh, span is not the spacing just it is the uh, uh, like uh, how the layout is uh, framed so that is the span if it is two then it will just uh, arrange horizontally so you can just play around with that anyway so what is the item template is how our ui really looks like in my mbvm c sharp implementation of one video is there where i have already told about the uh, binding property okay so let me just give it like this way so we are what how the ui looks like first of all we are either going to create a vertical stack layout or a grid or uh, we can use some borders or anything okay just as a parent so this parent is going to hold two children's okay then these are the two children's okay so uh, here uh, don't forget to like uh, add this uh, maui c sharp implementation because i have used this markup which helps me to uh, arrange the uh, layout means uh, the, the label to the center of the screen of that specific cell then uh, what we are going to do is like our next target is to bind the label label with the data so to bind the day label with the data we need to introduce label with the text property if it was image then we could have added source property okay then this name should be same as this name okay so this is what uh, we have uh, used the location then location okay so a cell having two children and each children has either name as well as location if it was image then we could have added image dot source property and then the path of the uh, url okay so as a url path here we can we could have written so that is it so that's all now let's run the application and then see whether it gives us as a resulting output or not